Uh, and now, uh, a very special treat. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, he recorded these uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, three songs from 17 Seconds, uh, the Cures album of 1980. Please welcome to the screen that you are at now, the very lovely man, Mr. Robert Smith. Hello, this is Robert from The Cure. Very happy to be part of Nine Lessons and Carols for Socially Distanced People, 24 hour 2020 version and I'm here in my tier but I'm going to play you three songs from The Cure's 17 Seconds album which turned 40 this year which I thought was going to be one of the weirdest things about the year but I was wrong anyway um, In Your House M and Pipes Today I hope you enjoy it
Thank you very much. Robert Smith. That was such a treat. There's something so... And thank you very much, by the way. I know a lot of Cure fans might have only tuned in for that. And I've seen some of the things you're saying on social media. And uh, it's lovely. Cure fans... Are, do we have Cure fans in here? They are they're the loveliest people. Cure fans are really... I remember the first time seeing them live was probably 1990 in, in, in Glastonbury. And I also remember the joy of Cure in Orange. That fantastic moment where Robert Smith comes out and he has the exuberant hair. Do you remember that moment? And then he rips it off and it turns out it's a wig. And you can just see the whole audience going... Ah, known and suddenly cover it it's it just great and so it was a it was a lovely thing for him to uh, do that it's lovely for all the people who you know bothered to do stuff for us uh, so thank you very much robert smith i had it, it was like a really childish thing uh, i'm a very childish person uh, and uh, there was reeves gabrels came down to uh, a show that i was doing at soho theater and he's a very lovely man as well and of course worked on you know incredible uh, bowie albums of, uh, of of the 90s as well and um, and he said oh i want to buy one of your books for Robert and I thought Robert was his son I thought oh, I mean and then eventually went no 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 no, for Robert because we're on tour and I think he'll read it and I know it's really childish and I'm 51 I think but I was still like turned out Robert Smith read at least some of my book he might have thrown it away but he read some of it on a plane and it's a bit of me that is, I'm still such a kid fan about so many of these things